said, whoa, like, whoa, W-H-O-A, you're amazing, I'm a praise you, my girl, I'm a praise you, my girl, whoa, yeah. If you have a video idea for my channel or a creative story idea for my blog, please email me. Also, I am doing personal prophecies and prayer requests. If you want more information on that, go to the comment section and you will find a pinned comment from me. There, follow the links and you'll get more information. Let's get into the video. Hey you guys, it's Stacey Shirell and Ellie. Thank you so much for clicking on this video, being on my channel. I'm so glad you're here. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, come here. I want to give you a hug. Make sure you go to the description box below. I have some great things there for you. The title of today's message is, Are you reaping what you sowed? Are you reaping what you sowed wow this is a this is powerful really how many of us know that we can reap what we do today has lasting benefits not just for us but for millions of people for your family right i, I look at this me my freshman year my 14 year old stacy right put me in the position that I am today. 14 year old Stacy knew that she went to go to UT, right? So I made sure to my freshman year to go really hard on my grades. And that freshman year set me up for my sophomore, my junior, my senior year, right? But most people don't take freshman year seriously. You were 14, it isn't it? It's not that deep, but it mattered so much. Just that I, I have to be in the top 10% to, to get admitted to the University of Texas at Austin automatically. I knew I wasn't strong at math, so I had to, and it was very, UT is a very competitive, but now it's like 8%. So I wanted the automatic admission, so I knew what I had to do. And when I graduated high school, I was the last person in the top 10%. I was literally, I was 11, I was number 11. And, and that was by the grace of God. But what I did in my freshman year, it set me up for where I am now. My freshman year, um, let's just say I saw some crazy stuff. Stuff that you would see, I wouldn't even say it in a soap opera, like an X-rated movie stuff you would see in a porno, to be honest. But when they offered me, I had no idea what was happening. I, it, it's not like I walked into that. It's just something that happened. And when they offered me to join, I was like, no, I'm going to watch the Hannah Montana movie. So I excused myself and watched the Hannah Montana movie. But, like, if I would have did that, that would have... that I mean, God can restore anything, but that could have ruined where I am today. That could have even ruined my relationship I have with my future spouse today. You know, that could have set me back and took me on a different path and opened so many portals to... I would have been fast. I would have been highly doing things I shouldn't have done. I would have lost that innocence I had. So you may not think what you're doing today is significant, but it is. You need to you need to choose the good thing. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.